Good evening, everybody. It is 9 o'clock, basically, Eastern Standard Time, 12-26-2019. The market, 188. And 24 hours is, oh, look at that, 16.5. BTC, 72.13. ETH, 125. XRP at basically 19 cents, 18.9. So a little bit uh, up in the last uh, hour, but not much. Um, I'm just fluctuating. A little back and forth. This market basically needs a catalyst, and a catalyst is going to be going into January, February, March. Um, you've got a lot coming up, of course, the having, which is coming up, and what will go on with that. You have ETH's <laughs> attempt to get on proof of stake, and they're getting there. We'll see what happens there. Apollo is going from proof of stake to the DAG consensus protocol um, for 2020 along with the Apollo Cloud and ArcNet with the absence of smart contracts and TPS of 1 million plus. So, so much going on. And especially for the coin that's going to be the coin of the year, 2020, is Apollo, the all-in-one, working in Africa, Asia, the Middle East, signed the MOU with Lesotho. Big news on that for an article that we'll show in a minute. You've got... This beautiful piece that is more, how can I put it, uh, defined um, and goes through the breakdown of the great deal that they've made, the first one for Apollo Africa and the platform that supports Apollo currency and the Lesotho government signed a memorandum of understanding, MOU, to implement and develop the economy using the blockchain technology. This understanding will focus on in reducing the poverty better education, employment of the private sector. And it goes through talking about the size of Lesotho and about its mineral assets. And this uh, program for Apollo so will reduce the taxes and much more. The blockchain technology is becoming um, basically a mass adoption of government and companies are starting to accept it to track and approve their services. Apollo's MOU is basically going through the whole government setup um, and making it more efficient and basically doing a lot. It's not just one avenue. It's completely going through the whole government setup. And when they come out with the uh, walk-in locations, um, which you can use your Apollo debit card that will be available then, um, and then load up, and then you'll have all these different things that they're doing to help the people of Lesotho. They're in Egypt and have been in Egypt, and they're going back to Egypt uh, this coming month. Four more days starts it. So January is going to be huge for Apollo. This article I'm going to link is there's more to it, but I can't read the whole thing to you. So I'll link it right down below. First thing Craig Wright's lawyer objects to court motions with the weakest arguments yet. Yeah, I would say so. They're, uh, he's trying to get it basically the. Klein people to pay for his wife's uh, expenses to testify, and she's over in England. So um, they're going through the motions, but is he ever going to pay the Klein estate? I don't think so, in my opinion. Why 2020 will bring record highs for cryptocurrencies? Oh, it's going to be big. I just mentioned a few things in the beginning of the video why it's going to be big. Um, and you're going to see the steady piece going up for the market, slowly gaining after the first of the year. And it, I would say that when you hear about the things that are going on, um, and I'll give you an example coming up shortly, that will just spur a lot. Japan hosting the World Conference to discuss decentralized financial governance. And this one here. You basically have the FSA announced Monday that is organizing Blockchain Global Governance Conference, BG2C, in collaboration with the Kai. The event will take place on March 9th and 10th in Tokyo. So you have that. Bahamas is doing a launch of a digital currency pilot program starting when you watch this video, for most part. Some will see it in the next few hours. Otherwise, the 27th. And they are doing what Apollo is doing in Africa. Um, and they have also, too, this one is using, coming up, there's another piece on a sandbox that Apollo is dealing one with one with Zimbabwe. 
uh, with a sent box that's coming up shortly. But anyway, this piece here, they're giving out a uh, basically a mobile wallet to the people, and they can try doing the test. It's basically it's just it's called a sand dollar, and it's a digital fiat currency, but not a cryptocurrency stablecoin or competitor to the Bahamian dollar. Uh, it is simply a digital version, equivalent to every respected paper currency. This is your future, folks. Um, <laughs> this is really the future. The digital coin use, um, which is going to really make it more efficient in the governments. Crypto firms can now apply for a license in France. Good to know. The DSAP's guidelines for the firms applying for the non-mandatory license and informing the regulator about internal cybersecurity practices. Speaking of cybersecurity, blockchain security, George Sebastio is signed on. He's a Huawei CTO, and he's signed on with Apollo as an advisor for blockchain security. Speaking of security, Twitter bug exposed millions of user phone numbers. This piece is actually bigger than you think. Um, with the the way it was set up, Ivraham Balik, he cre created a randomized, randomized list of phone numbers and sent them to Twitter and asked them to match in his piece that he was doing to match the user phone numbers um, to accounts. What this did and what it could do, and it was successful, um, and then of course Twitter adjusted. Um, basically, it's not to try to scare you, but it can basically screw the 2FA factor, or I should, I should, should say the two-factor authentications for banks and stuff like that, if this gets out there more of a widespread thing, because it just bypasses it, unfortunately. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Russia's regulatory sandbox here, I was telling you about this. Apollo's got one with Zimbabwe. Um, it test, it's testing the stablecoin, and when you have the sandbox, it's basically a financial setup um, and using the central bank and a lot of different things to test everything and make sure it works good. And it's something that they're doing. Apollo is working with Zimbabwe and so many other countries. YouTube claims that, that the crypto ban was an error, affected videos getting resolved. I had uh, basically in my channel, and everybody did in YouTube, that uploads videos, warnings for the last, I don't know, three weeks about the minor protections um, and, that you had, and different uh, terms of service acknowledgements. And you had to basically okay everything in the steps. And even after I did, the warnings kept coming up. And guess what? I said to myself, there's going to be issues with a lot of accounts. And I was waiting to see if mine was affected, but it wasn't. But a lot were. And now YouTube claims that the crypto ban was an error and they're restoring the videos slowly but surely. Okay, in the wallets. Oh God, I say wallets every time I look at this page. In the devs work on GitHub because they're doing a mobile wallet um, coming up. And they've got so much going on in the all-in-one wallet that Apollo has, including the DEX, um, final production of DEX 2, the final version of DEX. I wouldn't say final, but I'll say the most uh, effective use for liquidity and making it look the best and function the best. And guess what? Um, they're working on it. When you look at the feature APL new TV code title, you can see here that the bump version up to 1.4, 1.4 DEX updates the symbols request there. Then you can notice that update for DEX version. You've got here for the exception, you've got APL 1199 DEX fixed message decoding exception. Value must be in the format OX. Da, 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 da. Boring for code. I know it, it is boring, but it does do a lot of good things. Um, and you can see here that they're basically working on so much. This is dealing with DEX and so many other things that they have. Here you've got the add ETH key. When I say so many things that they have, we talked about the DEX and this beautiful black mode that Victor and the guys are working on. Ding dong. Very nice. And it's going to be so much better having all the coins in there, and especially BTC. 
and getting the smoothness of atomic swaps. That's going to be nice to get that liquidity going. And then they have the CEX for coming out on their new website design. Uh, that and so much more is coming out in the next 30 days. Um, massive. This piece, you got to watch this. Very short, but sweet. Is an all in one digital currency which combines the features of mainstream cryptocurrencies into one platform. Apollo has made history by becoming the first project to utilize sharding on an active blockchain. In 2020, the foundation will focus on achieving true mass adoption via its national currency initiative. The initial target is the continent of Africa, where the foundation has partnered with ADF Group to pitch to all 54 nations on the continent of 1.2 billion people. This is big. The foundation is also developing tools for mass adoption, including a light wallet app. The mobile app will have a QR code as well as merchant features. This will help Apollo to gain merchant adoption globally. Apollo's aims are pretty ambitious to say the least. It aims to become the all-in-one crypto for all use cases. If it manages to achieve these goals, it could be on its way to become one of the top cryptocurrencies in the future. Definitely want to keep your eye on. Ding dong. My god, this is big. It really is big. Um, with everything that they're doing, it really is big. And with George being signed on, and then with a Huawei to come out with their tweet. Uh, I was glad to be part of the at Huawei ecosystem and make up all this currency. They basically came out and did an article that was just a link of an article, I should say, that I just showed you, um, it, or more yesterday. But anyway, this one here, Huawei CTO is an international speaker of ICT, and he recently stated that he's glad to be part of Huawei ecosystem and make Apollo currency a more secure and trusted solution. What a partner signing. That is great. Um, finishing up on a new Apollo branding and structure website, white paper, tech paper, CEX, and apps, and all new product details come shortly, including nine new products um, that is coming out. So, so much. Watch my last couple of videos. You get an idea of what's what. Apollo. So rapid, going faster. Much faster. When you have a blink of an eye transfer and confirmations so quick, that is the bomb. Apollo Currency, the all-in-one digital asset. Apollo Africa. Apollo Dex. It's the all-in-one. Here comes all the different things that are coming. And do not forget he's been in Egypt, like I mentioned. Steve has. And with the advantage of this all-in-one, that this is why the ADF, ADF group signed with Apollo and promotes Apollo through Africa to the 54 nations in Africa at the ministerial and presidential level. This is why, and all of what they're doing right now in the, in the background, coming up with all these new products and working with the governments and signing this historic agreement with, with Lesotho, yeah, no doubt. So ADF chairman signing with the minister from Lesotho, along with legal and the head of director of operations, Willie. Yeah, Apollo World's gonna be huge, hi guys. <laughs> this is coming, ladies and gentlemen. That video I showed you, which was the seven coins to watch in 2020, it was an excerpt from it. And you can tell about the excitement of the presentation, even though it was a computer generated voice. The, the main thing is, it's, it's gonna be huge for Apollo in 2020. Reason why they have everything under one roof and they're doing things that no other coins are doing. Ding dong. ADF Group Apollo Africa is making history with Lesotho many more countries coming and if they sign Egypt holy mackerel that's gonna be huge 100 million people in Egypt go to their website check out the roadmap you can pause the video right now and just do a step forward I'll do this in slow motion okay but it's loaded Apollo's done everything in 2018 19 and going into 20 
locked and loaded on the fastest, most private, with the public options. Sharded. Nobody else could do it. Apollo did it. Yep. Updated that prevents forks and 51% attacks. 0% inflation coin. Ding dong. On that note, I'm going to sign out and let everybody know that what's coming is huge. And I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done. I'll see you soon.